Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a very simple and delicious recipe for scalloped kohlrabi. It tastes just like scalloped potatoes and it's a very quick and easy recipe. The first step is fill up hot with water and turn the heat on to high to boil it. Then we're going to get a baking dish and we're going to butter the bottom and sides of it. And then we're gonna preheat our oven to 420. So this is what a kohlrabi looks like. If you've never seen one before, it has a very thick outer skin. And so what you wanna do is you wanna just cut away the ends of the kohlrabi. Okay, we're gonna cut the other side too. And then we're gonna cut the sides off of the kohlrabi. You can also use a vegetable peeler to peel it, but I find that you wanna make sure you don't have any of that green left. And next we're going to get out a mandolin and this is gonna help thinly slice the kohlrabi. So if you don't have a mandolin, you can just use a knife and try to cut it as thinly as you can. And you can see the pieces are very thin, like paper thin almost, see? Now the water is really boiling and we're gonna drop the kohlrabi in and let it boil for one minute. So now we're gonna turn the heat off and we're gonna strain this. So next, just get a large bowl and we're gonna pour that kohlrabi inside of it. Then we're gonna sprinkle it with some salt. Then I've shredded some Gruyere cheese. So I'm just gonna take a couple of pinches of that and sprinkle it around. And we're gonna do a couple of shakes of nutmeg. I have some dried rosemary that I crushed here and I'm gonna sprinkle that in too. And then we're gonna stir that together. Then you're gonna pour it into the prepared dish and spread it out evenly. Next, we're gonna pour some organic heavy cream into the dish and it's just enough to kind of touch the bottoms of the kohlrabi. We don't want it to go above the kohlrabi. And then we're gonna sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top. We're gonna to put it in the oven. So we're gonna set the timer and bake it for about 30 minutes. All right, so the cheese has melted on top and that's looking really good. So we're gonna take that out, it's done. We'll turn off the oven and we're just gonna let that sit before we serve it, but it smells so delicious and it looks so yummy. Enjoy.